The Digimon Vital Bracelet has been an absolute boon for the Digimon community, one of the most unique V-Pets we've ever seen, with a consistent amount of DIM cards constantly releasing, and even fan projects coming along which completely revolutionised the VB game. I was supposed to make a video on one, the Vital Pet, I'm so sorry, I've been so busy, Veek. I will get there. <laughs> But things can always use improvements, and while I really enjoy the Digimon VB and the Digivice V, I do wish there was more. More to enjoy, and they have said that more things are coming. And so on today's video, I'm going to list my top 10 most wanted DIM cards. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, and yes, my top 10 most wanted DIM cards. What I have done here is springboarded a concept or Digimon I like the most, but then actually used the DIM card template by Dragonrod Arts to come up with my own full DIM cards for each of the things I want. Now these are just my top 10s, there are definitely Digimon I want DIM cards for, like Kyokamon for example, who didn't make this list, but one of my other favourites, Bluekamon, already has one, so I'm pretty happy with that, and Wormon just got one too. I am going to try my best not to use too many Digimon that are already already on other DIM cards, although it is kind of inevitable that I will, just because there's only a certain amount of Digimon that fill a certain amount of roles, even though there's like over a thousand of them, still only like two shark Digimon. I'm also not going to be using hybrid Digimon, aka Digimon from Digimon Frontier, because they did recently announce that Frontier DIM cards are coming, and this is April, the month of Frontier's 20th anniversary, so hopefully we'll hear something from them. <laughs> Yeah, without further ado, let's jump into my first DIM card, which I am calling the Light of Gold. I just think an entirely golden DIM card is a ton of fun. This was actually inspired by a poll that Digimon Web did, where they asked people their most favourite golden Digimon. So I just wanted to make the most cohesive golden DIM lineup I possibly could. First of all, the Zubamon line is fairly obvious for this, the 20th anniversary golden Digimon. With Sakumon becoming Sakutomon, to Zubamon, to Zuba Igamon, to Dor Doramon and finally Dorandamon. Just nice, simple, kind of like the most full through golden Digimon line. And then I've added Gardramon Gold, which funnily enough isn't a golden armor Digimon, but it does quite often become golden armor Digimon. So I like Kongomon here, although it has been used in other DIM cards, but it does work really nicely as Gardramon Gold transitions into another golden rounded body. And then we end on Pharaomon. Kongomon and Pharaomon folding in kind of holy or sacred vibes. And then we have Grademon next to them acting as a sort of knightly defender of the ultimate level. In this instance, I am using Gold Vidramon as a champion. I get that it does sometimes fulfill the role of an ultimate, but I prefer it as a champion in this case. Dim cards like to play around with the levels of armor Digimon anyway, so I think this is perfectly fine. Then Omega Shoutmon and Magnamon as the Mega feel really good to me as a cohesive evolution line of kind of Dragon Knights. Not Kamen Rider Dragon Knights though. Kamen Rider Dragon Knight! Then we have our goofy section with Gold Numen becoming King Sukumon and Platinum Numemon. Platinum Numemon has gold wings, so it's allowed here, even though it's Platinum Numemon, not Gold Numemon. And then Metal Life Coagamon, because honestly, I ran out of ultimate level Digimon that are gold. This DIM probably contains the most Digimon you're going to see in other DIM cards on this list, funnily enough. I guess I really do love gold! Always believe in your soul. Next up is the Harrismon Dim. I chose Harrismon because I love him, even if I don't love Digimon Rearise itself, so I've chosen his main line. Pusumon to Pusurimon to Harrismon to Philmon to Stephilmon and then Rasenmon and Rasenmon Fury Mode. This is pretty standard, Harrismon on the Harrismon Dim, there's not much more to explain here, but in that same sort of wheelhouse of beast Digimon who have good and bad evolutions, I added Meikumon to this Dim. I think that works quite well because we never actually saw officially Meikumon's in training and rookie, although Bandai did design them. And because DIM cards only allow for one rookie but multiple champions, we can put Meikumon quite naturally in here. <laughs> That means we get Meikumon, both Meikrakmon and Meikrakmon Vicious Mode, and Ragglemon and Rassilmon. Then I included two champions that Harrismon could become in the Digimon X V Pet. Damemon. <laughs> Damemon. 
and Tyranomon X. Damemon being a bit of a joke about how poopy I think Makomon and Philmon are, but that also means we get to include Tuarmon, one of its evolutions, which I think is really cool. This is also the reason why Tuarmon wasn't on the Light of Gold Dim card. I really am trying to not have repeats and still failing miserably. <laughs> Tyranimon X will become Metal Tyranimon X as per the DMX, and X gon' give it to you, but then provides a nice prevo for Rasenmon Fury Mode. Then we also have Infamon as a reference to the spirals in Digimon Rearise, as there is an Infamon spiral, but also Keramon is one of the sort of mascots or main spirals we see in Rearise promotional material. Wow, what a cool video about all the dim cards I wish would happen. It would be crazy if, say, two days after I filmed a video specifically about dim cards, Digimon revealed a full set of really cool dim cards. <laughs> Time after time, you are a curse! Yes, Bandai has announced that they are doing the dim cards for Digimon Frontier, the Spirit of Flame and the Spirit of Light EX3 sets. The dims even have two rookies, which is something that I was going on and on about in the original recording for this video. But while I was accidentally late to the party, you don't have to be because you can get those Digimon Frontier dim cards on today's sponsor, Zenin TCG. Oh my god, look at it, it's so pretty! Yeah, so straight up during the production of this video, the Frontier dim cards dropped and Zenin was super kind not only to get in touch with me about them but to offer to sponsor this video to let you guys know where you can get these premium bandai exclusive dim cards as i said these frontier dim cards are premium bandai japan exclusive but you don't have to worry about that with zen and tcg because you can get them shipped to you basically worldwide so i would definitely recommend zen if you want to get these 20th anniversary frontier dim cards the frontier spirit of flame which features evolution lines for agunimon kazemon and kumamon and the frontier spirit of light set containing dim cards and evolution routes for Lobomon, Beetlemon, and Loemon. All six Frontier Kids and just two dim card sets. It's a great deal. Zenin TCG is your one-stop shop for Digimon merchandise and more general anime merch in the future. If you like Kingdom Hearts, stay tuned for my video on April 10th. And I'm not just accepting money from the first person that offers it me here. Over the past year, I've gotten to know Keen, the owner of Zenin TCG, and he is a really good dude, really passionate about the Digimon community, and just wants to be a resource at the Digimon community can use to get what they need. I buy things with my own money off Zenin TCG. This is a Digimon VB slash Digivice V wrist extender. I even put my pre-order in for the super complete selection animation Tamer's Digivice with Zenin just because I trust them so much. You can of course go to their website to get those frontier dims as well as a bunch of other stuff but make sure also to visit them on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Tons of links in the description down below to get some really cool Digimon items and if you do buy something with Zenin let me and Zenin know on Instagram or Twitter. I absolutely adore seeing the purchases that people are able to make through these sponsorship so thank you to Zen and TCG for sponsoring this video and let's get back to Pascal. Next up is one I've wanted for so long since probably the VB came out and that is what I am dubbing D Brigade and Company. It's initially pretty standard the line of Commandramon that you get on the Digimon Axel being Bombmon to Missymon to Commandramon, Sealsdramon, Rip, Tank Dramon, and finally Dark Dramon. But I wanted to fill this out as a kind of general, like, military, militia, army kind of vibe. So the other alternative champion to Seals Dramon is going to be Tankmon. After almost two years of people telling me I used the wrong image, I get to put Tankmon and Tank Dramon on the same dim card. It feels good karmically. Still not over that. Then to keep up the kind of green camouflage aesthetic of Tankmon, I am having it digivolve to Ground Dramon and then Kadramon. They're not inherently like military Digimon, but I think they work well in this line and in the context of military, military excavation, I guess. Then the black ops of this dim card is Black Gargamon to Black Rapidmon, and then finally Black Mega Gargamon. I like these here. The coloration of these Digimon feel very much like a kind of like SEALs team or something like that, an MI5 or maybe just kind of like an elite Marine or something like that. But also I wanted to fold in some references to Digimon Ghost Game as this would be coming out at some point during Digimon Ghost Game's run if it was real. And I guess minor spoilers for Digimon Ghost Game jump ahead to this timestamp, but when Gulu Scammon has been showing up, a new dark Digimon has been showing up, presumably a Digimon attached to the Black Digitron. And because we can only have one rookie per dim card, it had to be Commandron in this case. Black Gargamon was the second of those to show up when Gulu Scammon showed up. So we get the Black Digitron Digimon showing up on the same dim card as Seals Dramon, who was Gulu Scammon's first victim. I like the cohesion there. Then we have Troopmon to Gigadramon and Gundramon. Uh, I included these because 
you know, I wanted Gundramon on the dim card and I needed a transition into that. Troopmon is a part of a troop, an army troop. Gigadramon mainly acts as our transition then into Gundramon. We of course have Assaultmon then at the bottom, who is the other member of the D Brigade that often gets left out. I'm really proud of myself for not making any D Brigade jokes yet. And if you're proud of me or would like to make a D Brigade joke in the comments down below, make sure you like and subscribe before you do that. <laughs> And then finally is Tekamon, acting as our kind of melee militia. Sword, combat, things like that. Something you might get either in the past, or presumably there are members of army troops that have swords. I don't know, I don't pay attention to the army. And then next up is what I am dubbing the Society of Slime dim card, because I just wanted a dim card full of slimy gross stuff. So it's pretty standard. We're going from Pabumon to Motimon, because they kind of look like slime, to Chumon. I did debate the rookie for this using like a rookie version of Numemon or something, but Chumon digivolves into a ton of slimy Digimon, so I think it works quite well here. It's also like best friends with Sukumon. Then it would become Sukumon and King Sukumon, and then finally Gamemon. Picked Gamemon, is it slimy? No. Does it look a bit like a Ninja Turtle and they live in the sewers? Yes. <laughs> of course, we would also have Numemon on this dim card becoming Numemon X Antibody, just because I feel like we haven't seen Numemon X Antibody in a ton of stuff, and certainly not in the VB, so I'd like to use it here, even though I'm not super fond of the design. And then we are going to re use Platinum Numemon. It just makes too much sense. I couldn't not have it on this dim card, but I also wanted it on the Light of Gold dim. Then we have Shell Numemon, of course, becoming King Numemon, and then finally King Etamon. And there are gonna be other Etamon on this dim card, but I like the idea of taking Etamon, who is one of the traditional members of the sort of Sukemon Numemon family, but having this snail or shell Numemon slowly transition into a king, I think it's pretty cool with the metaphor for kind of coming up from the slime. And adjacent to Numemon X antibody would also be Garbage. Mon, which I just think works really well. They're both pink, slimy, gross Digimon. And at the bottom here, I would have Raremon to Rare Raremon, but also Etamon, because again, as I said, Etamon does seem quite tied to this family. Monkey throwing poo, there's a lot of slime there. And finally, Rare Raremon's mix of biohazardous waste and metallic parts would fully cement and turn into Metal Etamon. I did also consider, I think it's called Etamon Chaos or something like that, the big ball of wires that Etamon becomes in Digimon Adventure, but would that be a fun Digimon? Digimon to have on a VB or better as a raid boss. And I think it'd be better as a raid boss. Next up is a dim card I called Food Fighters. I haven't thought of a better name for it yet, uh, but obviously since I've wrote this and now filmed the video, Taylor Hawkins from the Food Fighters passed away. So rest in peace. Uh, this was only called Food Fighters because of the pun. There's no like references to the Food Fighters. Uh, but if you've got a better name for this that isn't fighting food on, so let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I just really like the idea of an entirely food Digimon dim card line. And yes, it's because I'm fat. <laughs> But also because we actually have so many more food Digimon now. Food Digimon mainly came about because of a crossover with a Japanese restaurant chain. So it's nice to see that we have so many of them now that could work. And so in this dim card, we are going to have the standard Bergamon line of Torikara Bulmon to Bergamon to Bergamon Adult. But because Torikara Bulmon doesn't really have its own baby form, I've chosen Popomon because it kind of reminds me of corn and popcorn. It is supposed to be a dandelion, but work with me here. I would then also have the champion Potemon, which I'm still surprised that's a champion Digimon, I'm going to be honest with you. Becoming Jagamon, who isn't traditionally food, but because Potemon is now its Prevo, and it has the attack mashed potatoes, even though it is supposed to be a collection of rocks, and the mashed potatoes are more of a joke, it's food now! <laughs> then, the other food Digimon would be Shortmon, the shortcake, becoming Weddingmon, the wedding dress slash wedding cake Digimon, and then the Mega Reverse Weddingmon, which has only been seen in the Cross Wars manga, but I think is long overdue a proper appearance. And our final, definitely food Digimon is Yakimon. But you might be thinking, Khan, there are seven slots on that dim card that you haven't filled. Well, I have filled them, but you might need to work with me here. So for Bergamon Adult, I have had it becoming Digitamamon. It is, of course, an egg, which you can technically eat. And of course, Digitamamon is very famously a chef in Digimon Adventure. Then I will have Digitamamon become Holy Digitamamon, another Digimon created by a fan that we have never seen officially appear. And its dark version will be Devi Tamamon, kind of referencing rotten or spoiled eggs. I like having the holy and the deviled egg. Hey, pretty good. <laughs>
And another alternative ultimate will be Waru Monzemon, who is probably the biggest outlier on this dim card, but it was also a chef, or at least Giga Waru Monzemon was in Digimon Cross Wars. And then digivolving from Yakimon, I have chosen Burpmon. Burpmon does not have an actual official level. I would probably want to put it as a mega because it can basically digivolve or kind of turn from any other Digimon when they overeat. There are a series of V-Pets where Digimon can actually overeat and become Burpmon as a kind of fail state when they get overweight. But I like it here as the ultimate that is pink colored coming from Yakimon and then transitions nicely into Bacchusmon, the member of the Olympos 12 that is the foremost drinker. It's an alcoholic. It literally has a mode where it drinks so much booze that it turns into Bacchusmon crapulence mode. Not joking, that's a thing. That's a mood. And then rounding out this food dim card at the bottom is Calamaramon. Picked Calamaramon because her name comes from Calamari, fried squid. <laughs> food is harder to pick Digimon for than you might think. And next up is a dim card I am calling the Hive Queendom, and this is just an excuse to make a dim card for Fanbeemon. We're gonna have Pupumon, then Pororumon, then Fanbeemon, Waspmon, Cannonbeemon, and Tiger Vespamon. And then I chose Honeybeemon. It is an armor, but I want it to be a potential champion here. And then using that idea of honey, bees, and pollination to translate Honeybeemon into the ultimate Lylamon and then Lotusmon. Definitely not bees, but definitely queens, and of course the flowers that will be pollinated by bees. Then I chose the Aosmon line Bar Morphamon. I honestly think it's more likely Morphamon would get its own dim card, but I like them on Fanbeemon's dim too. They're obviously based on butterflies, not bees, but definitely function in a very queen bee worker drone way in the movie Last Evolution Kizuna. And then is the kind of bad apples of this hive. With Flymon, who is visually super wasp-like, becoming Okuamon, who, uh, well, is a bug evolution, I guess? <laughs> it's pretty weak, but our options are limited here. Or the alternative ultimate of Metal Life Kuagamon, who is also a beetle, but its golden coloration is definitely evocative of Digimon like Waspmon or Tiger Vespamon. And then the final mega is Tyrant Kabuterimon, because a queen or any leader, if insecure and power hungry, could definitely go from a fair ruler to a tyrant. Oh, and Arukenimon is another ultimate, because she's the queen of my... Heart? Okay, moving on. Next up is a dim I am calling Vampiric Vengeance. And really, I just wanted a dim card that felt more vampiric in contrast to the very ghostly dynasty of the evil dim card. So I chose Drachmon as the rookie, digivolving from Tokomon, who is the in-training Digimon with the most teeth. Can we get like a vampiric in-training and baby? I know there's like Pagumon and stuff, but give me a proper vampire in-training. And Poyomon as the baby, because uh, ghosts undead, I don't know. Drachmon, of course, would become Sangloopmon, Matadormon, and Grand Drachmon its standard vampire line, but then I have also included Ice Devimon, and then to Myotismon and Venom Myotismon, and then next to that line I have chosen Devidramon and Marine Devimon. While yes they are devils, Marine Devimon being based on the Sea Devil, I do see these as being still quite vampiric in a similar way to the Devimon and Myotismon line, and they also visually I think work quite well, becoming the Mega Malo Myotismon. Then I did start to struggle, there's not as many vampire Digimon as you might think, so I was thinking about about vampires and I'd just been to see the Batman with Robert Pattinson and I thought the Batman, vampires, bats, Dark Knight and that's when it hit me. We're gonna have Skull Knightmon and Dark Knightmon on this dim card. They're not vampires but you know, Batman reference, it's good enough, right? <laughs> and of course, then they would also get to become Neo Myotismon, meaning that we would have all three Myotismon Megas on this Vampire Dim card. The two outlier ultimates. This video was made a lot more difficult, by the way, that they give us six ultimates, but only four Megas on most Dim cards. Like, either trim down the ultimates or give us more Megas, please. <laughs> and more rookies while you're at it. Give me two rookies per Dim card. I know you can do it. <laughs> But I've chosen my Otismon X because it's a super cool design. And actually the cape is the Digimon and the body is fake, which is interesting. And Lady Devimon X just because it felt like a bit of a sausage fest in here. <laughs> Uh, true. And then I had to do this because I super duper want it, but I know a ton of you also do. And that is... These nuts. <laughs> Got it. 
Coronamon and Lunamon dim cards. And hey, if you like Coronamon and Lunamon, stay tuned for the next video. So for Coronamon, I have given him his main line of Sunmon to Coronamon. And I've chosen the baby to be Mokumon because it's what Sunmon Digivolve from in Digimon Championship. So I think that works okay. Then to Firamon, Flaremon, and finally Apollomon, very standard. The rest of the dim card I have also filled with just fiery Digimon. Asuramon, Lynxmon, Voltramon, then Brywiludramon. I think this Lynxmon line looks really good together. Then I've thrown in a bunch of Merrimons, Merrimon himself, Skull Merrimon, and Blue Merrimon. Blue Merrimon's a bit of an outlier, but we'll come back to that in just a second. And then finally, Marsmon, who is just wildly underused in Digimon in general, so I'd love to see it here. But the final line I have chosen for Coronamon is a slight inverse, and that is giving him Sorcerymon, who Coronamon can actually become in Digimon World Dawn and Dusk, then Pangeamon acting as a sort of icy beast, because the final one is going to be the Mega Apollomon Whispered Mode. Yeah, I really love this. Whispered Mode, of course, showing up in Cross Wars, a Digimon that I think would be really cool to see more of, the kind of inverse to Apollomon's virtue. Great opportunity to put it on this Dim card, and I think Sorcerymon to Pangeamon gives us a lot of cool references there. And of course, Grace Novamon is also going to be a potential Jogress Ultra on this Dim card, because Lunamon will, of course, have its standard evolution line. Moonmon and Lunamon for the rookie, the baby being Yukimi Bottomon, which Moonmon also digivolved from in Digimon Championship, then Lekismon, Cressamon, and Dianamon. And then I wanted another Olympus 12 member and planetary body to go alongside Dianamon, so I chose another feminine member, Venusmon, who is really underused in Digimon 2. Then I used Anjuwomon to bridge the gap and introduce another underused Digimon, Tobu Katmon. It's another one of those adult beast level Digimon, like Gatomon, Mikemon, Mekumon, who is really underused, to the point where I think the design is good, but the official art looks like dog shit in my opinion. Sorry, Bandai. <laughs> So I'm hoping using Tobu Katmon here will give it an opportunity to get new art, if nothing else. <laughs> then, as the kind of inverse of that situation, I chose Sistermon CL, Chohakaimon, and Lilithmon to kind of evoke the dark side of the moon, but also that femininity doesn't have to be pure and angelic. You can dress as a bear nun, or a pig, or even a goth, anything you want. Carney X, expert on femininity. Bastemon, I then thought was a nice compromise between the beast and human side of this dim card so far, with Superstarmon on top, like the star on the Christmas tree as a reference to the moon and stars. And finally, I wanted to reference the moon itself, the big white rock that floats above us. And so I chose Icemon and Insekimon to reference moon rocks and how cold the moon is. I know it's a bit repetitive to have these two Gotsumon Evos who look very similar, but I just think it's really fun to have ice and rocks in this big moon reference because they are going to compress down to become a jewel in Moon Millenniumon. Yeah, I had to include Moon Millenniumon. On here. I love it. And this also then ties into the Lilithmon dark side of the moon part of this dim card. And once again, Grace Novamon will be here so you can jogress your Coronamon and Lunamon dim cards. And finally, my most wanted dim card is not a Digimon one. That's right. We have had non Digimon dim cards now with Metabots. The VB line has even extended outside of Digimon. There are now Kamen Rider and Ultraman VBs, and well, they're not called dim cards, they're called VBM cards. So I really think the VB concept could definitely explore way more outside of the Digimon paradigm. And that is why my most wanted dim card is a Pokemon dim. What? Pokemon, I think, suits itself perfectly to this kind of thing. And Bandai have worked with the Pokemon company plenty over time, so there's really no reason why they couldn't. For the main Pokemon here, I had to, of course, include the Pikachu line. As baby Pokemon function more like in trainings, I have put a Pokemon egg here, but you could also put a Pokeball. The Metabots dim use like medals or something. I haven't watched Metabots. But we'll have the Poke egg to Pichu, to Pikachu, to Raichu. And then things got difficult. Pokemon usually have three stages. <laughs> Maybe like a branch or a baby or something if you're lucky. But I had to include Pikachu here and I didn't want to be repetitive and use like shiny Pikachu, not cheered Pichu, whatever. So to try and curtail that a little bit and because Pikachu and Raichu didn't get a mega, I'm gonna have it become a Alolan Raichu and finally Gigantamax Pikachu. I think this works well as an evolution line and while it isn't like technically correct in Pokemon evolution, the Metabots Dim cards did something similar with like pieces of Rocker Show and Medibee and the Kamen Rider and Ultraman Dim 
cards tend to be way different to like Digimon Evolution anyway, so I think this works just fine. And then for the other three, well, I chose the Kanto starters of Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and Wartortle, becoming Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, and then finally their Gigantamax forms. I really wanted to include Eevee here because it is technically like the fifth Pokemon starter of the Kanto region now, but to include kind of the OGs and Pikachu and Eevee wasn't gonna happen. With how many branching evolutions Eevee has and like Dynamax, Gigantamax, etc., you could even mostly fill a dim with just Eevee, so maybe we'll do like another Eevee dim another time, but I think this works nicely. But as I said earlier, that does leave us with two empty slots in the ultimate category because Bandai likes to make me suffer and so I've made some hard decisions. I ultimately chose to put Ash Greninja on here as a kind of reference to the anime and Snorlax at the top. Snorlax being a very iconic Kanto overworld Pokemon that is a roadblock to your journey. One of them acting as a game reference, one of them acting as an anime reference, I'm not super happy with these. I could make arguments for like Clefable because of the Pokemon Adventures manga and stuff like that. And Eeveelution, there are a bunch of Pokemon that could very easily fit in these two gaps. So if you've got an idea for them, let me know down below. I'm definitely not like the happiest with these, but I think they're a good compromise. Snorlax will also act as a reference to the potential overfeeding that you can do with Digimon on certain V-Pets and even Burpmon who can be a result of that overfeeding. But anyway, those are the dim cards I would most want from the Digimon on VB. Let me know in the comments down below which dim cards you would like to see. I'll also include a link to Dragon Rod Art's post where you can grab the dim card template and make your own. Please do share those with me in my Discord, which is in the description down below, or on Twitter at Khan underscore EX. Thank you to my wonderful sovereign ZDK14 and everyone else who supports this channel with their hard-earned money, and I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye-bye.